How's it going everyone? This is Daniel. In this video, we are going to be talking about Tesla stock, the overall stock market. We're going to go over some important news that came out for Tesla. We're going to talk about some important economic data that can significantly affect the stock market and also Tesla stock. We have some really important news that came out for Tesla that we're going to be talking about in this video. So make sure you stay tuned. Now let's get right into the video. So as you can see over here for today, we have a Tesla stock sitting at $695.20. We are slightly down 0.57%. We had some important news that came out from FOMC meetings. They talked about exactly what their plan is on the next Fed meeting by how much they could potentially be raising interest rates. As you can see, the overall market actually rallied up to the upside, except for energy stocks. We have big tech companies that helped the overall stock market to go higher. We have Amazon, Google, Microsoft, Apple, basically what the Fed said was that they are going to potentially be raising interest rates by 50 basis points or 75 basis points, depending upon the data that we're going to be getting next week on July 13 about the core CPI data for the month of June. So based off of that data, they're going to determine by how much they're going to be raising interest rates. So based off of that news, of course, the stock market rallied. You know, we had some individual news that came out for Tesla that we're going to be talking about, of course. But as you can see, the open market pushed up higher historically. The overall market is super bullish for the month of July. So we're starting out relatively positive to the upside. As you can see, we broke out this key price point level that we're watching, which is around 380. We're sitting above that. And if we continue to route to the upside, we could potentially be pushing further and further. Also, when you look at Tesla stock today, it is also edging closer to the key price point level that we're watching, which is around $700. You know, we're going to be getting Tesla earnings coming up pretty soon in a matter of a few weeks as you can see over here we are in a very tight range tesla has been just going up and down within this tight range depending upon what the earnings are going to be like for tesla we could potentially see a massive breakout or a breakdown of this level so we've been in this tight range for the past few weeks and months so let's go over some important news that we're going to be talking about for tesla of course last week we got the delivery numbers that we got it was lower than expected of course it's not a big surprise but in spite of that news we've been getting upgrades and downgrades by several analysts you know so we've been we have jp morgan that cut tesla price target we have deutsche bank analysts that sees a potential for tesla right now so we're going to be watching a detailed breakdown of why he sees tesla stock going above one thousand dollars for this year so we're going to be watching that video and then i'm going to come back and then we're going to go over also look at some important news for tesla and what to expect for tomorrow um so yeah i think a lot of the concern around tesla have been around the ability to produce so essentially the supply side some of the weakness we've seen in the second quarter was highly predictable it was basically the result of COVID shutdowns in shanghai and so we're the numbers that the uh, Tesla delivered in the quarter were actually better than we had expected and bang in line with what the street was essentially looking for. So pretty robust execution despite those challenges. The reason we remain bullish and actually we feel it's a good opportunity now is really looking forward. As part of its press release, um, Tesla essentially said June was the best quarter, the best, the best month in, in history from a production point of view. That means that it's really lapping some of these production issues. China is back on track. The other you know, factories are on track. And therefore, I think the second half will actually look uh, particularly strong. The company is on uh, right now retooling Shanghai to even boost capacity by another 300,000 units. It's also you know, boosting the number of shifts in Berlin. We believe the second half could actually be quite strong and then some more in 2023. Big picture, I assume based on what you said, is that you still believe that fundamentally Tesla is mostly constrained by supply. In other words, we don't have to be concerned about the pace of demand, even if we're all looking for uh, a potential recession in, in parts of the world uh, coming up? Obviously, it's a very important question. So based on existing data, we could track essentially the wait times you know, to get to your car. If you place a reservation, when would you get your, your Tesla? There has not been any compression in wait times. In most cases, whatever the model is, whatever the geography, you would have to wait several months, often into 2023, in order to get your Tesla. So there's no sign so far of any sort of like compression in demand, despite Tesla increasing prices by 10 times in 2021 and multiple times again in 2022 and keeping up with inflation. So, so far not. I think on a go-forward basis, it's still a very valid question. If we go into a recession, 
my point would be, look, we're essentially looking now at backlogs that stretch, you know, year long or more in terms of ability, uh, you know, to supply. So even if demand took uh, some sort of hit, we'd still be looking at some pretty solid volume trajectory. Let's not also forget a big piece of the Tesla story is about their own supply, but also about new models. Uh, next year in 2023, we should get the Cybertruck. This is an all new segment, an all new model. We don't have a fresh mark to market of how many reservations there are, but there's certainly some noise out that it could be a million units or more. This is all new, this is all new customers. And I would think a decent portion of the reservation holders would actually come through. So the key important thing to watch out for, of course, even though it was a great delivery data that we got, it was even though it was lower than expected, but the earnings is going to be the one that we definitely need to watching out for for Tesla stock. And we also had some important news that came out that Tesla was shutting down Giga Berlin for around two weeks to potentially add new shifts and also to increase the production to potentially accelerate production they're going to be shutting it down for two weeks in july so that was the news that we got but in the short term let's talk about exactly what to expect for tesla stock for the next few days so we have some important economic data coming out as i mentioned for this week and also next week you know tomorrow we are going to be getting initial jobless claims data coming out in the morning and if the stock market reacts if the stock market decides to react positively we could push up and that could take tesla stock with it to the upside and if we still off we could potentially pull down to the downside too but of course also on friday we have unemployment data coming out unemployment rate that is also going to be a key indicator of how the economy is doing and that's going to be a key thing that the fed's going to be looking at to see by how much they're going to be raising interest rates so that's also going to be another important thing to watch for this upcoming week so let's talk about what are some key price point levels to watch out for for tesla so 700 dollars is key we've been watching this level for several several weeks now so we're trying to push up of this price point level it is acting as a resistance price point level at this current point point in time but tesla we're not going to be seeing any kind of extreme moves up or down up until we get to this earnings call coming up pretty soon so that is going to be a massive game changer move that we're going to be seeing for tesla stock we can either break out massively or break down so in the short term we're expecting to see tesla stock trading between 725 to 650 area so we can just basically go bouncing up and down between between that range so if tomorrow if we got a positive move to the upside with the overall stock market we might see tesla stock trading above 700 dollars so that's going to be the short term price prediction for Tesla stock. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think about the overall stock market? What do you think about the Fed raising interest rates? By how much could they potentially be raising interest rates? That is gonna be coming up pretty soon. Let me know in the comments below, I'd love to hear your opinion. Also, what do you think about Tesla stock too? Drop in the comments stream below. But of course, if you're new to the channel too, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notification bell, but I'll catch you guys on another video. Have a wonderful day.